All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And you know, I just want to clarify real quick. I know you guys read the title and thought, oh man, he hates all women. No, this is just a rant about what I don't like about women, honestly. And yeah, I'm aware that all women aren't the same, but honestly, I don't care. So I feel like this video has been coming for a while and I, you know, if the right people see this, then they know it should have been coming for a while, mainly my high school history teacher and most of my friends, but mostly you guys too who have been watching on the channel for a little while now. You know, who could forget such hits as why the WNBA shouldn't exist anymore or whatever I titled that video. Videos that prove that I'm definitely on the women's side. You know, I'm a total advocate for women. So I, I think I get this chance to talk about them in a negative way at least. So I'm just going to compile my thoughts and sell a couple of points. Don't really know how many there's going to be, but you know, enjoy the video anyways. All right. So point number one, why are women so annoying? Seriously though, what you dishwashers need to realize is, see, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. All right. But seriously though, on to the first point, why is it that women think that they're so oppressed? You know, I think that that's a really good question to ask, and I'm not asking that to make a joke or anything, but I really do feel like not a lot of women could answer that question and give a clear answer to. Now, that's not because I think they're dumb or anything. <laughs> It's just like when you ask that question or when you look it up, you'll get a ton of videos and a ton of responses that are basically just nonsense, you know? You know, you'll get your typical responses like, oh, men want traditional women and that's keeping women down because they have to be in the house the whole time and have to take care of the kids and all this other stuff, which by the way, we'll get into in a second. But then you come across the argument of, and this is pretty much the main one, is that glass ceiling argument that literally just doesn't even exist. So if you didn't know what the glass ceiling argument is, it's basically a woman's attempt at trying to get more money out of men and yeah that's kind of how i see it to be honest with you basically what it is it's just that women think that they get less money for the same job as a man in the workplace and you know there are laws saying that you can't do that you can't discriminate against race or sex or even if you're pregnant i guess like you can't deny anybody work because of those reasons it's strictly based off of qualification so if you didn't get that job that you were looking for it's because you weren't qualified to get it now i'm going to tell you why women as a whole shouldn't really worry about it and this also kind of ties into the next point that I'm going to make. So, um, in this digital age, I'm not going to, this is a bit taboo, but you know, in this digital age with things like, uh, only fans and you know, uh, those other websites, you know, women are pretty much just booming. Like they're, they're up as a whole. And what I mean by that is like, it has never been so easier for a woman to take a picture of herself and get incredible amounts of money from, and this is for my older audience, simps. Now, if you don't know what a simp is, and like I said before, this is for my older audience, it's basically someone who begs a woman and, and just like does anything for a woman's attention. Now, as a simp scientist, my job is basically to analyze what makes a simp a simp. You know, how they work, how they function, and all that other stuff. Now, what I've found is that being a simp is pretty much a spectrum, right? On the low end, you have the simps that buy chocolates, roses, maybe the occasional sweater or favorite book of the girl that they're trying to impress. It goes all the way from that to some guy stalking a girl that he met on OnlyFans and going so far as to hide in her attic after driving multiple hours across multiple states from Pennsylvania to New Hampshire in an attempt to spend more time with her and get her to like him. If that sounds a little bit specific, then go watch this video you'll know why anyways you might be asking the question why are you even bringing this up like what does this have to do with anything well essentially what i'm trying to say is is that if women play their cards right then they essentially can become millionaires overnight and i'm not kidding either it actually happened it seems like OnlyFans is the main key to most women who are willing to do this and their success um now I'm betting the person I'm expecting to watch this video didn't really expect me to bring this up. That's right, Miss Von Heusen. I'm talking about you. I know you're watching. But yeah, no, that millionaire overnight thing, that actually happened to a woman named Danielle Brigoli. Um, you guys might know her from Catch Me Outside. You know, I I'm pretty sure a lot of people know about this story already. But, you know, it happened like a year ago. So quick recap. Essentially, when she turned 18, she started in OnlyFans. And I guess a whole lot of people were waiting for this. And what she did was actually record breaking. She literally made $1 million off of subscriptions to her page in 24 hours and she hadn't posted not one thing now you can go look up the story for yourself and get a whole bunch of other details about it but you know people who are on the internet like me and who continuously hear about these crazy stories like for another example amaranth she's a female twitch streamer who has been banned multiple times for her very round personality and how it's shown on stream but basically what she's starting to do now is hop on this trend where girls sell their farts online for money for like people pay for this yes yes people pay for that i know i know dude it's crazy it's crazy but it actually happens you can look it up for yourself 
You know, one might think, having heard all this knowledge that I've just blessed them with, they might think, do women really have it easier than men? Which is my next point, and that is yes, women definitely have it easier than men, especially now in this digital age. And there is no questioning that. Like, I, there's no questioning it at all. You can take a picture of your feet and get probably a thousand dollars from it. A thousand dollars, dude! Yes, I'm more than 100% sure that some simp online from Nebraska or somewhere around the world is willing to pay you that much money in pesos and yen and USD and anything just to get a picture of your feet or better yet, your farts. Like I said, it's never been easier for women to make money online or money period. And what do men have to do? Well, you know, wake up at 6 a.m. every day, go to their 9 to 5 job, provide for the family, you know, do real manly stuff and come home to a complaining wife who hasn't done the dishes yet. <laughs> alright, alright. I'm gonna stop making that joke. It's getting old now. Alright, so I'm gonna save all my points for another video. Um, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did and you want more content similar to this, hit the subscribe button to get more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.